How strong is the legal case against Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal? This is being looked at politically, it's being looked at electorally, but how strong is the legal case? That's my top focus on the news track. Kejriwal arrest showdown escalates. ED brands Kejriwal's cam kingpin. Delhi CM rakes up electoral bonds. Aam Aadmi Party questions Sharat Reddy's role. How strong is the case against Kejriwal? Big focus on news track. At the center of the Delhi Liquor Gates camp probe is 39-year-old Hyderabad-based businessman Sarat Chandra Reddy who was initially an accused in this case and later turned approver. It is his statement naming Arvind Kejriwal that was crucial to the arrest of the Delhi Chief Minister. The Aam Aadmi Party and Kejriwal himself claims that Reddy donated over 50 crore rupees in electoral bonds to the BJP, which is what the AAP claims led to him getting bail in this case. Take a look at this report. A high-profile businessman on the board of India's second-largest pharmaceutical company valued at over Rs 63,000 crore. P. Sharat Chandra Reddy, now at the centre of the political tussle over the country's most high-profile ED case. Arrested in Delhi liquor policy case on November 10, 2022, Sharat Chandra Reddy turned approver in June 2023 before getting bail on health grounds. But this wasn't the first time his Hyderabad Pharma company got embroiled in a major political scandal. More than a decade before he was linked with the alleged Delhi liquor scam, Reddy's company was named accused in another high profile CBI case related to Andhra Chief Minister Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy. On Thursday, the arrested Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal pointed out that Sharat Reddy paid Rs 54 crore to the BJP through electoral bonds. So there are six words used in Section 3. Use, project, convert, etc. or receive. But none of this is shown. This was not even able to be shown in Manish Sisodia, who was one closer, allegedly. Kejriwal is one far removed. So you actually, and, and how do I argue this, uh, Rajdeep? Your own grounds of arrest till yesterday are only these four uh, chaps, these four star witnesses. A review of bond data published by the Election Commission shows a gradual shift towards the BJP in the company's allocation since 2021 through its parent and subsidiaries Orbingo Pharma, APL Healthcare and UGA Pharma Specialities. The donation peaked at Rs 50 crores in November 2023. But who exactly is Sharat Reddy? According to corporate records, 39-year-old Reddy is a graduate in business administration with experience in procurement, logistics, clinical trials, trading and information technology. He's the son of the company's co-founder, P. V. Ram Prashad Reddy, a clerk turned billionaire pharmacist. Sharat Reddy is married to the daughter of the current managing director, K. Nityanand Reddy. Even after his arrest, he was only relieved from the company's executive responsibilities, citing temporary inability to perform executive functions. However, he continued as a director on the board, reinforcing his ground in a huge farm empire. Bureau Report, India Today. So what exactly is Sarath Reddy's role in the Delhi excise policy case? How did he go from being an accused to being an approver? Munish Pandey decodes the Sarath Reddy case files. P. Sarat Chandra Reddy, Director of Arabindo Pharma, arrested by ED on November 11, 2022. Accused turned approver in the Delhi excise policy case. He 
is the man at the center of the liquor gate dangal the enforcement directorate says that reddy along with k kavita and other accused like samir mahendra formed the south group to allegedly get a favorable delhi excise policy in return for kickbacks so what exactly is sarit reddy's role in its first remand application against sarit chandra reddy ed mentions that he managed to control nine retail zones through proxies a violation of the 2021 22 liquor policy ed also submitted that he along with his partners of south cartel paid 100 crores to aap communications in charge vijay nair as kickbacks On 6th January 2023, ED filed its charge sheet in the liquor policy case and named Sarit Chandra Reddy as an accused. On 8th May 2023, he managed to secure bail on health grounds. On 1st June 2023, Delhi's Rouse Avenue Court allowed Reddy to turn approver in the case. Nearly a year later, On 22nd March 2024, ED arrested Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, calling him the kingpin of the scam. The agency based the arrest on statements of Sarit Chandra Reddy and other approvers, along with CDRs, WhatsApp chats, and money trails. Countering the ED in court on 28th March, when Kejriwal questioned the role of Reddy in the probe, the agency said that the reason for Reddy's change of statement was documented before the Delhi High Court. The ED also rejected Kejriwal's charge that Sarit Reddy changed his statement and paid money to BJP through electoral bonds in order to get bail. With Munish Pandey in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. How strong is the legal case against Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal? This will ultimately be decided in a court of law. But for what it's worth, we'll lay out the evidence uh, before our viewers to try and get a sense of how compelling the evidence really is. Joining me on this broadcast, representing the ruling Bharati Janata Party at the center, its spokesperson R.P. Singh, squaring off against R.P. Singh, Priyanka Kakkar of the Amadmi Party. I want to go across to R.P. Singh first. On this matter raised by Arvind Kejriwal about uh, one of the linchpins of this evidence that the ED says they have against the Delhi CM. It rests on a character named Sharad Reddy, uh, uh, who's the owner or part owner of Aurobindo Pharma. Now, what's very intriguing and that's what I want you to explain is that the, the bonds bought by Aurobindo Pharma between April 21 to October 22 are split between the BRS, the BJP and the TDP. Bonds were 22 crore rupees. However, after Sharat Reddy is arrested by the ED in November 2022, the bonds that he buys are only for the bjp after in april 25 2023 he uh, records a statement with the ed where he says he met with delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal uh, then he turns approver in june 21 after that whatever bonds he bought are only for the bjp and the bjp in november 2023 in cashes those electoral bonds this leads many people to wonder What's going on over here? If this is the linchpin of your case against the Delhi CM, why is he buying bonds only for the BJP after turning approver and before his arrest? Like any business moon would, he's hedging by distributing the bonds between the BJP, the BRS, and the TDP. What's going on here, Sardar R P Singh? Well, Rahul, you rightly place it. Why was he buying bond for TDP, BRS, and other parties also? I mean, they, they, he, as he was buying bond to give it to any political party, we were one of the political parties to whom they give, he, he gave the that bond. That is before and his arrest. One of the directors. Before one of the his arrest, the, he's buying uh, for everyone. After sir, his sir, arrest, he only buys I'll, I'll for you. To... After turning approver, all the 25 crore rupees of bond are in cash on the 17th of November 2023 only by the BJP. thank you but does that turn your point that he turned approval uh, because of us or because of ed no i mean if someone has to turn approval the uh, the uh, grant is given by the uh, the the permission is granted by the high court or the or the concerned court 
that yes, he can turn approval or not. Court can deny uh, uh, him the right of turning approval. And if he was not the only one. You said Lynchman, he is not the only one. Uh, how about Mr. C. Irwin, uh, who was the uh, Minister Sodia Secretary? How about Mr. Bucci uh, Babu, who was the K. Kavita uh, CA? How was Magunta Siri Devas Reddy? How about Raghav Mag Magunta? And, and how about Dinesh Shurur and Samir Ura? I mean, this all has been mentioned on page number 18 with complete detail of the remand note uh, of each and every, everyone's role and how they uh, come, came together and gave money to Vijay Nair. And uh, it's not only that it's just one person who has turned approval. It's not only one person's witness which has turned the uh, thing against him. And uh, again, co-routing bonds with this is not at all rated. I mean, otherwise, tell me one thing. How come that 100 crore rupees has been, has been on record? And I'll give you one example from the uh, electro election process. Other than Goa, which is in detail on page number 23 about how various Angris played a role in transferring the money and page number uh, 23 and page number uh, 25 of the Roman note, how various Angris and they, have they are on record saying that he received money okay. in crores and there is some guy named Charan P. Singh. But leave that aside. Give me a second. Leave that aside. The gentleman name uh, uh, from uh, who, who is the, one of the contestant of the uh, Goa, the sorry, uh, Amavi party from Gujarat. He was caught red-handed with money. Okay. And so the went, and, fundamental uh, argument you are making, and I want Priyanka called, Sakka said, to respond said, to said, it. Said, you are basically making the point that it's not just Sarath Reddy. There are other people as well who've said similar things. So, Sarat Reddy is an important part of the evidence against Kejriwal, but he's not the only evidence. There are other people, including Mani Sasodia's own uh, PS, who's now turned approver. He's also talking about uh, the evidence against AAP leaders. And Kejriwal in court is trying to make it seem as if it's all about Sarat Reddy. R.P. Singh argues that's not correct. Priyanka Kakkar. Uh, good evening to everyone, Rahul Kavalji. So, let me begin sequentially by what Arvind Kejriwalji said in court yesterday. And also, uh, I must ask you to please take note of the fact that the answer R.P. Singh gave for taking a bribe of 60 crore subsequent to the arrest of South Lobika Kingpin Sarath Reddy is because there are other people also who made the statement. That is the answer he gave. So, you must note that. Now, what happened in this case is there is a statement of Sevan Dinesh Aroda. Dinesh Aroda's statement has been absolutely serious kharaj kar di gai by the Supreme Court in its judgment dated 30th October 2023 in para number 10. Then subsequently there is a statement of C. Arvind. What did C. Arvind say? That at a meeting I was present and documents were given to Arvind Kejriwalji. Is that a ground for arrest? That is a statement. Then Magunta Reddy, since he mentioned what happened in Magunta Reddy's case, he came to Delhi to meet the CM. He sought his time after after 10 days of his seeking the time, the CM called him to his office. Bagunta Reddy wanted some uh, uh, some uh, land in Delhi for a trust, which Arvind Kejriwalji said that land is not under me, but I will forward your request to the LG. So you might as well give me your letter. And subsequently, uh, he was hounded by the ED. He, he gave six statements to the ED, did not once mention Arvind Kejriwalji, despite a lot of duress. Finally, in the seventh statement, he gives us... Finally, in the seventh statement, he gives a state. Why, why was he giving statements? His son, uh, Raghava Reddy, was also behind bars in the same case uh, called the South Lobika Kingpin. Finally, after the seventh statement, where he gave a statement against Arvind Kejriwalji, this person also, Raghava Reddy, his son, is granted bail, is be becomes an approver and has now joined South Lobika Kingpin, Jisko BJP ki ED Bulariti, has now joined the TDP, which is in alliance with the BJP, is part of the NDA government is going to get an MP ticket in the upcoming elections. Then we come to P. Sarath Reddy, who the ED very categorically said is the South Lobika kingpin. And he, in fact, let me also tell you this interesting fact that, you know, he was incarcerated for about six to eight months during his incarceration in jail. He went to the high court, said that there is a lot of pressure on him to take Arvind Kejriwalji's name and he doesn't want to do that. There is no such, there is no such case to be had. The, unfortunately, by then there were PMLA provisions on him. The ED did not, ob objected to his bail vehemently, sought his custody for further uh, investigation. So his bail was rejected. Okay. Then subsequently, after about six, eight months, 
इन दिस सिक्स एट मंथ्स सिक्सटी करोड़ गो टू बीजेपी ही टर्न अ सरकारी गवा गिव्स अ स्टेटमेंट अगेंस्ट अरविंद केजरीवाल जी सिक्योर्स अ बेल एंड द ईडी सेज दे हैव नो ऑब्जेक्शन बिकॉज शरद मुनीष पांडे मुनीष पांडे इज ट्रैकिंग द इन्वेस्टिगेशन बाय द इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट इन दिस केस is the ed's case largely based on the statements of these approvers who initially are saying they have no evidence against kejriwal suddenly after coming under whatever kind of duress or pressure they say yes uh, they met kejriwal or kejriwal facilitated the scam and that is how the ed is building this case do they have any real material evidence any financial trails or is it largely based on these approvers and what they are saying after having been arrested by the ed munish Well, Rahul, there are two points here. First of all, the enforcement directorate claims that the evidence against Arvind Kejriwal is not only based on the evidence, but there are technical evidence and there is a money trail to show involvement of uh, Arvind Kejriwal. For that, they have recorded statement of uh, the Aam Aadmi Party candidates who fought uh, elections on AAP ticket in Goa, and what they have claimed, according to enforcement directorate, uh, uh, in their statement, is that they were given cash money by the Aam Aadmi Party, and they have also taken Arvind Kejriwal. name as far as technical evidence is concerned they are claiming that they have a phone conversation between arvind kejriwal and samir mandru one of the accused in the case in which mr arvind kejriwal stated that vijay nar is my boy you can trust him and the third part is the statements in which people have taken name of arvind kejriwal regarding the meetings and regarding the excise policy also uh, uh, rahul i spoke to my sources within the enforcement directorate about the allegations being made by the aam aadmi party that whether there was any aam twisting or whether there was any play of uh, electoral bonds in uh, turning mr sharath reddy approver in the case so first of all they told me that according to law any person who is turning approver has to be accused in the case no person um uh, for example a witness cannot be turned approver in a case the person has to be uh, accused and the person has to be arrested for his role and uh, also they said that whenever we record a statement of any accused in the case for first few instances they deny their allegations but when we confront them with certain evidence in the case during the course of investigation then only we can gather evidence uh, against the concerned person on here in the case of sharad reddy they are claiming that they confronted Shar- that ready with those uh, evidence regarding the meetings regarding the okay. money trails and that is when they decided to so vikas uh, singh joins me now vikas singh is a senior advocate in the supreme court of india former additional solicitor general mr singh from what you can see in the public eye how strong according to you is the evidence against the delhi chief minister in the liquor gate case well to be uh, honest i have not seen the evidence but whatever i have read about uh, this case so far according to me there has been political funding whether the ed will be able to prove it or not uh, is a separate matter altogether but uh, there is no personal corruption uh, there is a political funding which uh, we all know every political party does but according to me there is no case made out for his arrest because uh, every uh, citizen has a right to remain silent and to not answer questions if he feel that that question is likely to implicate him no but right. here here here's my specific question <laughs> how much credence would you give to uh, the statements of an approver who for the first several times when he's asked the question about the linkage with arvind kejriwal says nothing after he's arrested and in custody of the enforcement directorate uh, later says that he was part of a meeting and kejriwal facilitated the scam but this person is an approver uh, how much credence would you lay to statements made by approvers given that they clearly have a vested interest and that they'd like to do and say whatever to get bail and to ensure that the agency gets off their back so as far as uh, uh, you know statement of anybody while in custody is concerned it is of no consequence no use in a trial and uh, your trial judge will not even look at it i mean you may use it uh, today for the purpose of denying him bail but this is not something which can be said to be admissible in evidence you are saying uh, that these approver the testimonies don't really stand for much in court no 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 unless unless he continues to make that statement when the trial goes so this is a statement which has been made to the police while in custody so really speaking this statement made today but if he says no the same thing in court then it has consequence no even if he says this in court he is also a co accused 
so it doesn't have that kind of uh, evidentiary value to um, you know convict somebody it no but the other be, thing uh, in this case it. is that if you look at the purchase record of electoral bonds of someone like a sarath reddy when he is not arrested between april 21 and october 22 he is buying bonds for the brs the bjp and the tdp then he gets arrested then he is only buying bonds for the bjp after he turns approval on june 1 2023 all the bonds that he bought 25 crore rupees of them are only for the bjp now that by itself doesn't mean anything doesn't say anything but when you look at it together you know you wonder dal mein kuch kala hai now earlier he is buying bonds for everyone after turning approval after being arrested he is only buying bonds for one party so i mean that is something which is the answer is in your question itself i really don't need to answer that question because uh, i mean if if this um, the person is buying a bond of a political party which is controlling the ed directly then uh, definitely that also will uh, you know uh, Uh, show that um, there is something more than what meets the eye but uh, no but can the government this, prosecution get away by saying humne nahi bola ye to khud hi kar raha tha like we didn't ask him to buy these bonds he thought he can buy these bonds and buy protection because they can also defend it saying we didn't ask him to buy these bonds he's gone and bought themselves how are you blaming us we never asked him to buy these bonds no so as far as the uh, evidentiary value of buying these bonds are concerned it is only a circumstantial evidence which the trial judge you know when a trial judge uh, examines a matter in totality he has to look at every evidence and you have he has to realize or or take a call whether the ocular evidence which has come before him and the circumstances under which the evidence comes whether it is all credible or not so this will also go against the credibility of the witness which he says after and that's why i said that his statement even if he goes ultimately in court and makes this statement this circumstance will definitely definitely you know uh, uh, attach uh, a lack of credibility towards this uh, uh, evidence so that that his evidence per se or on its own cannot be used for conviction of somebody so uh, all this will go uh, in favor of uh, kejriwal as far as the trial is concerned and uh, according to me uh, whatever i have heard so far the money trail has not been established completely in the sense that the uh, uh, donor is there sender is there but there is no recipient who has received the money so unless that stitching up happens uh, there is no so the only only um, you know the only um, uh, disadvantage or or, or the um, uh, um, 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 suffering that uh, mr kejriwal will have will have to go through is this arrest uh, which he is going through now which according to me is completely illegal because if he had to destroy any evidence he would have destroyed that by now already because okay. he was out for this uh, this matter has been out in the open for a very long time so there is no question of uh, him remaining out and destroying any evidence so that's the, the rest of the evidence is all uh, mostly document based or or which is already collected by the agencies and uh, he has a right of silence so you can't say that because he is not cooperating with the investigation he needs to be kept in custody because that will be completely violating his uh, fundamental right guaranteed under article 20 sub clause 3 of the constitution of india so i i don't see this trial really going anywhere except uh, for the short run of uh, you know no but the short run is when there's an election campaign the going on as well and you've basically knocked the delhi chief minister out of the electoral contest that's uh, vikas singh that's president okay. of the supreme court bar association former additional solicitor general from 2005 2008 very clear in his words and uh, I, i i'll just leave it to our viewers to determine what they make of what vikas singh and the others have said on the show thank you very much uh, for tuning in i also want to show you. i also want to show our viewers uh, this report about what uh, the delhi chief minister's wife is now trying to do sunita kejriwal trying to step up to the plate in the absence of her husband and also putting out a whatsapp message saying kejriwal ko do aashirwad and wanting people to reach out uh, and join the campaign so while kejriwal is trying to fight this battle in court legally his wife and family and party now trying to generate some sympathy around the fact that the delhi chief minister has been arrested take a look at this report आपने अरविंद जी को अपना भाई अपना बेटा कहा है क्या इस लड़ाई में आप अपने भाई अपने बेटे का साथ नहीं देंगे The third public address by the wife of Arvind Kejriwal who has been in enforcement directorate custody for over a week आज से हम एक अभियान शुरू कर रहे हैं जिसका नाम है 
केजरीवाल को आशीर्वाद स्टैंडिंग इन फॉर द डेली चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड लॉन्चिंग अ कैंपेन नेम केजरीवाल को आशीर्वाद द आम आदमी पार्टी हैज स्टूड फॉर एनीथिंग बट परिवारवाद इन पॉलिटिक्स बट सुनीता केजरीवाल हैज फ्रंट फूटेड द हस्बैंड्स कॉज एज हिज पार्टनर अपीलिंग टू डेलीस पब्लिक to send him blessings and prayers promising to deliver all messages to him directly in lockup sabhi yuva mahilaye buzurg bacche ameer garib sab log apne bhai apne bete arvind ji ko kuch na kuch zarur likhein with her husband's custody extended till april 1st sunita kejriwal with three such videos and counting has become the chief minister's principal voice Sources say Mrs Kejriwal will make public statements of this kind every few days to keep the heat and the connect. As a campaign for sympathy rages on the outside, the pressure on Kejriwal is increasing. The Enforcement Directorate has accused the Delhi Chief Minister of withholding crucial details including passwords to devices, tax and financial details, adding that Kejriwal is not cooperating in the investigation. The Aam Aadmi Party has cranked up its counter attack on the BJP. कुछ महीने पुराने फोन में अरविंद केजरीवाल के क्या मिलेगा? कुछ महीने पुराने फोन में लोकसभा चुनाव लड़ने की स्ट्रेटजी मिलेगी. तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के फोन का पासवर्ड ईडी को नहीं चाहिए. अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के फोन का पासवर्ड भारतीय जनता पार्टी को चाहिए क्या केजरीवाल जी कंफ्यूज हैं या हम सबको कंफ्यूज करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं क्योंकि सवाल तो यहाँ पे रिश्वत खोरी का है ना पूरे शराब घोटाले का है इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स का नहीं है इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स तो खरीदे जाते हैं एक चेक देकर बैंक के अंदर जाकर ये तो छुप छुपा कैश के जरिए हवाला ऑपरेशन के तहत ये तो पैसा दिया जाता है एक तरह से ब्लैक मनी के तौर पर रिश्वत खोरी के तौर पर On Sunday, the opposition India Alliance will roar in support of Kejriwal from Delhi's famous Ram Leela Maidan, the very same venue from where Kejriwal had shot into India's consciousness via the Anna Hazare fast unto death. When the Pukta Sabut ED court was kept in front of it. तो ईडी कोर्ट को मजबूरन अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को फिर से चार दिन के लिए ईडी की हिरासत में भेजना पड़ा सीएम को गिरफ्तार किया गया है ईडी के पास कोई सबूत नहीं है आज खुद सीएम सर ने कोर्ट के सामने अपनी बात रखी है इतनी लंबी चौड़ी ईडी की जितनी चार सीटें दाखिल हुई हैं, उनमें से केवल चार जगह पे उनका नाम है और उसमें भी कोई सबूत नहीं है The war of the Kejriwals is gunning up to the top gear now. Bureau report, India Today. We'll continue tracking this case very closely. Slipping into a break right now. When we come back, Jab we met with Chetan Bhagat at the Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad. He's got a new book out. We're traveling through his uh, campus, talking about life and success. and his rules for success so catch chetan bhagat in this job we met on the other side of a quick break stay with us an unparalleled election coverage with the team that wins every election from unmatched on ground reporting to real time poll updates stay tuned to the maximum channel for the maximum coverage platinum partner signature finest silver elaichi a premium product from dilbag We are at the campus of Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad, and with me is Chetan Bhagat. So you have a new book out, Eleven yes. Rules for Life. Eat the elephant and be the cockroach. किसी भी इंसान की आप कोई बड़ी उपलब्धि देखो, उसने कभी ना कभी हाथी खाया होगा. There is another rule called be the cockroach. That is about adaptability. Cockroach दुनिया का सबसे adaptive creature है. Multiple so people become the cockroach by being training yourself to be okay with change. बदलाव आ रहा है
warm welcome. We're at the campus of India's number one business school, the Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad. And with me is one of IIMA's most famous alumni, Chetan Bhagat. Chetan, welcome to Jab We Met. Thank you, Rahul. It's terrific to have you back with us. Yes, it's my second time on Jab We Met. Yes, that was an IIT. That was an IIT Delhi. So you have the unique distinction of <laughs> they've done an interview with me in both my campuses. In fact, the last Jab We Met was 2018. And that was done in IIT Delhi, and here we are in IIM Ahmedabad. So you're just showing off how well educated you are. Uh, you wanted you. I think you have a campus fixation. I think you always. I think you've also been here. I've done a course in executive education on finance over here. Wow. Uh, and a lot of ragada I must tell you, which you can tell us a little bit about, because I also studied on uh, campus at Harvard Business School. Much lesser ragada there. So much Harvard more ragada here. Easier than IMA. No, they have very different styles, and we can build on that here because of the style of pedagogy. So much focus on academics theory. There, it's more practical. Practical, more discussion oriented, not as much focus on just core theory. I think that's the difference. Okay. Well, I've not been to Harvard, but yes, it was. I wouldn't say it was a cake walk. But I got to You were here from 95 to 97. Yeah, and then to, you know. The, uh, we did have fun, but it is a lot of work. Yeah, it's a it's very intense course. Uh, the, even the, the full MBA is almost like little less than two years only. And uh, you have to study a lot, but it's, you know, it's what you do here. This Every, is also where your film uh, was shot, right? Two states, yes. This So we are today walking around uh, so this is film you location to a dance somewhere. So Arjun Kapoor did. Arjun Arjun Kapoor did. Two states is the only movie in uh, Bollywood so far that has been shot in IIM Ahmedabad. Uh, they normally never give permission. You saw how difficult it was to get permission. So, but they have very good regards for me. And they say, I said, please, let's do it here. So yeah, it's a, not just a campus tour today. It's a movie location tour also. So you have a new book out, 11 yes. Rules for Life, Secrets yes. to Level Up. What is a largely romance writer mm. pivoting to now writing these self-motivation, self-help kind of books? I think I have a connect with India's youth and I've been writing for them for many long time. They've been reading me and I try to write based on what, I don't know, call it a gut feel, call it from the heart on what I think they need right now. You know, here's what I hope to do, Chetan. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll go through your book rule by rule and maybe you can give us a shorter, concise version of what you're trying to say in each of the rules so that those who are watching can then hopefully try and tap into yes. uh, some of your learnings in life and see if they can benefit from it. So let's start with, you know, one of the rules that you have over here where you're talking about mastering your emotions. Yes, yes. It's a uniquely human to be, have emotions, you know, when you feel joy, anger, sadness, happiness, and they make us human. But as I often say, that in life, you have no big work in life. So, it's emotion ki wajah se hi hota hai. Yeah. You know, we often make decisions in that moment, which are giving us gratification at that moment. Like, your boss has said something to you. But no one says anything to you. And you got angry and you just socked him, which is extreme. Abhi, or you just yell at him. Or you just yell at him. Yeah, or, okay. you just yell at him. Hmm. or you go in a bar and have a fight. Or at an extreme, an idealist who uh, becomes a suicide bomber. Uh -huh. Or even things like when you see a gulab jamun in front of you and you feel like, oh God, that looks amazing. And your emotions drive you to just have it. Even though it's not good for you. So emotions, when not kept in control, uh, can literally ruin your life, destroy your life. Uh -huh. So I think we all must have emotions. It's not a robot, but we must be able to master our emotions. Also, you have to be able to read other people's emotions. Everybody is human. Even a nuclear physicist is human. Uh -huh. You know, they, they, they may have a son or they may have a thing. So people must, you must know how to read other people's emotions. That's called emotional mastery. When you can control your own emotions and you can read other people's emotions. And if you don't do that, no matter how smart you are, how hardworking you are, you're not going to do that well in life. Logic and emotion go hand in hand, but the logic has to be on top of emotion. 